since I technically have to, you know, make food to eat as like a light dinner anyways, because I don't think I had any dinner at all, uh, I wanted to actually upload a second video. I know that the other one just recently finally got finished, you know, uploading. You know, the one about Cutie Pell's bonus gift and all. But, um, I have to do a retake of this, because I recorded it, the like, two other times, but people kept, like, you know, walking in to talk to the dogs we also have, because, you know, Maisie the cat is not the only pet in this house. But, speaking of Maisie, um, I have great news to say, but I first want to show off the thing that I went out of my trouble to actually you know, put together for her, because she is the orange cat that has appeared in a lot of my videos, you know, and I'll get to that in a minute, but I kind of want to show you my creative side and, like, what I did. I think you might find it really interesting, and I recommend that if you have a cat that likes playing with toys, to definitely make something like this for them, too. I'll even tell you where I got my stickers from. But uh, I just wanted to make this video too because it's actually great news because, you know, I'll explain why this is such a big deal to me. Because part of my life is kind of really, ba really bad recently because a lot of bad stuff's been going on. But this one particular thing is what's somewhat keeping me going. Giving me a reason to not give up on myself because I'm no longer doing things for me anymore because I have this responsibility that I now have to take into consideration that I'm gonna go into overdrive with but I definitely want to show you real quick what it is so right here um, I took I basically bought this container it's a food container to keep food fresh at the Kroger behind my workplace and I essentially repurposed it into uh, a toy box for Maisie. It's Maisie's toy and treat box and no it did not already have the stickers on it but these outer space metallic shiny stickers I got from Dollar Tree and the cat glitter stickers also from the Dollar Tree. These 3D pop-up looking stickers are technically from um, the Kroger instead. And the t this little uh, this little bin right here is also from the Kroger. In case you want to like try to do that yourself, I've got all these stickers here. Uh, the text is written in you know Sharpie, and then on the other side, even more stickers. And then like the entire tent's just got nothing but outer space and cat and cute summer like themed stickers and stuff. And basically. You know, I have in here, like, this is not going to fit in there, but it's the darn little cat wand that comes with the ball and bell and stuff with the feathers and the tiny fuzz balls at the bottom. This is, like, one of her favorite toys here that she loves playing with. And I was even nice enough to pick up, because uh, I was getting cat litter for Maisie to begin with. And, you know, I'm willing to put down the money because, you know... Having a pet is like raising a child, and it's going to be expensive regardless. So, I mean, if you're not willing to put in the effort, then I wouldn't recommend having either. But I'm one of those dedicated people because I'm very giving, so I spend more money on other people than myself the majority of the time. But the next set of toys is mainly just the 10 count mice here, and she adores these mice. She'll pull out like two at a time to play with. She's still trying to get used to the green cat. It's got like a crinkle thing on the belly area. And like, you know, a catnip kind of scent. Like I think she likes it. She just hasn't had enough time to get used to it yet. This ball I recently added in here. Because, you know, cats like to swat things from left to right between their paws and stuff. She really likes her lamb. You know, because it's a cute lamb blipping and asleep. She likes that. I put tissue paper in here because for some reason I thought that by doing that it would make the it would make the toys 
the safe on the inside when carrying around so that like they don't get tore up and stuff and they have like a nice bedding on the inside because Maisie sometimes you know like climbs into this just to get toys out so that's why now the cat treats I've already had from the get-go but I decided to add it into this toy box because it's like her own personalized toy box because this is for her specifically because, you know, I've always wanted to get her her own, like, meow box, which is similar to a bark box. But it's, like, super expensive to do that. So, if you're wanting to, like, get toys and treats for your cat, but you're not able to afford, like, the meow box thing for your cat, making, like, getting these items to make a toy box is your next best thing. Because it's easier to do. It's even, it's financially, you know, easier to do in general and so yeah i i just felt like she deserves like the best of the best and the reason for this actually the reason why i'm doing this for this beautiful cat here that's running off come here macy this beautiful cat here which if you hadn't noticed by now she is you know a female orange cat you know like tabby cat um She's really pretty. She even has cartoon-like eyes, but if you'll notice, she's basically the female version of the cat from the, uh, from Stray, basically. She, she has similar markings and sounds just like the cat from the game. But, uh, basically, the news I wanted to say about this beautiful baby, what I wanted to tell you guys, like, I wouldn't just do do this for anybody like I'm willing to go out of my way to get pets nice things but especially why I did this for Maisie is because I felt like she deserved it but also the OG owner of the cat actually has now bestowed the responsibility over to me to now be able to own the cat myself so they basically said that I could have the cat if I asked ask them if I could and with that being said I did indeed do that because this technically actually started out being my sister's cat because the story is is back when she was with a different person at the time because she's with someone that she's way happier with now but way back when, you know, this cat was felt as like an abandoned stray cat that had like burn marks, a damaged back leg and everything, you know, a few weeks old, just, you know, trying to find someone that was willing to have a heart to take them in. And so Skylar ended up being that person. And so many years later, she finally was nice enough to be like, you know what? This cat has, like, always been there for me for quite some time, and she did not want to ruin the friendship that this cat and I have developed over the years, because I used to babysit the cat when, you know, she was a kitten, so we have, like, this deep connection now. Like, if you played the game Stray, that connection that B12 and the cat has in the game is quite similar, quite literally, to how this cat and I are in real life, and so... I really actually got emotional when she came up to me and said that I was able to do that because I was kind of shocked. I wasn't expecting that. But I want to prove to her that much like the first pet I had, I'm not going to let them down. Like when I take care of pets, I take take care of pets. I don't just see them as just a pet or just an animal. They're like my best friend. And now I feel like I can elaborate on why this is the case. Because the thing is, is... Um, I recently had to cut out two people out of my life. And it was like, by far, the hardest thing to do. Because one of those two people, I thought I could trust for the longest time. And I hate to admit that I fell into the victim mindset of believing that they could better themselves to not be the way they were. So essentially I was in denial. I was essentially just lying to myself into thinking that this person 
would essentially be better. And I had to make that hard, tough decision to cut that person out of my life entirely. And so it's been really hard. And so in that sense, Maisie being here for me is a really big deal. Because there have been countless times where I just want to give up on everything. Like, for the longest time, I felt like I was alone ever since I had to cut these people out of my life. And not to sound harsh, but the other person, I didn't really care about cutting out of my life because they didn't put much effort in anyways and would always make me feel like an idiot to begin with and was never really a good person at all. There were several, several red flags on them from the get-go. I never really truly had a good vibe about Katie, to be honest. But it hurt a lot more to have to cut out Willie entirely. Because I didn't think I'd have to get to that point. But trust me when I say this, sometimes it's better to put your mental health first when it comes to toxic, fake friends. I don't want you guys falling into that same situation and wasting your tears on people that don't matter. Okay? Because I had to learn that the hard way. And it's not easy. But like I said... The fact that my sister was willing to allow me to have her cat makes me feel less alone and gives me a purpose to keep, you know, to keep living, essentially, to keep doing things. Because I'm no longer doing stuff for myself anymore. This is a commitment that I have to be serious about. So moving forward, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure this cat and I live a perfect life as best as possible. But I'm not even joking, because I saw a little bit of my first pet in Maisie the first moment I laid eyes on her. But when I saw her, it instantly reminded me of that deep connection I had with the very first pet I had. And it just felt, it felt right to me to be close to this cat, because she's therapeutic in a way. She gives me a reason to be happy coming home, because my work conditions... The place I work out work at, it's just gotten way too hard to work at. You know, like I said, because of that one co-worker. And some of the mean people that work at the Kroger. Because they don't treat autistic people right. So, trust me when I say this. She's like my bestest friend. She's always been there when I needed her. And I am honored that my sister is willing to trust me enough to be the new designated owner of this beloved creature because I love her to absolute death and back. And I would never let anything bad happen to her. And that's a promise. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> that's why I took the time to put together this cat toy box because I genuinely want her to have the most happiest life she can possibly have. Especially since you know, she was there to help us during the grieving process of when we had to put down Yoshi, our oldest cat, because of her falling ill and her being really old and not being able to make it. So we had no choice but to do that so long ago. And so I'm grateful and very thankful that Maisie was around during the time that she was. Because she was the friend I never knew I was going to end up needing in my entire life. Like, I genuinely wasn't going to be able to foretell the future to realize that that was something I was going to need. Not to mention, Skylar did point out, like, a really cute idea. Because since, since you know, Maisie looks just like the cat from the cat game Stray, and her bond is similar to that of B12 with the cat in the game, the idea of like kind of like playing those roles at Halloween so it got me interested in wanting to know how I would go about making something that would make it make it like that because I may consider something like that because I originally had a different idea of what I was gonna dress up as but since that cat game came out and I'm I really love it a lot and I've been drawing fan art for it I even have like a robot 
character OC that I'm kind of like somewhat working on that I have a concept for but like you know I'm just really overjoyed with the fact that I'm being trusted with such a serious responsibility because I can assure you I'm not going to let people down because this matters to me this is something that's really important to me because <laughs> if I'm not doing it for myself I'm definitely doing it for the cat Okay, this gives me a reason to keep going because, you know, I'm working for just, you know, I'm not just working for myself. I'm working to make sure that the cat gets what she needs too. And I'm 100% all about that life. So don't you worry. I'm definitely committed to this responsibility. I am not going to fail at it. I will pay for whatever is needed. And I will even occasionally get stuff for her that, you know, isn't necessarily a need just because I feel like she deserves a, a bit of nice things every once in a while. The toy box being one of those things because I already have like a cool idea of how things are going to be future-wise. And I can't wait because that obviously means I'm going to have to cat-proof my belongings to make sure she doesn't like get into things because she does have a tendency to want to mess with like cords and stuff but like I have plans and I'm gonna make sure this cat knows that she's loved accepted and appreciated to the highest freaking level I can possibly achieve because I love all animals I don't just love cats, but it's not just a cat, and it's not just an animal, and it's not just a pet. It's a lifelong friend that's always going to be there no matter what. And not only that, she listens to me. She lets me vent out to her, and when I'm upset, she's there. She's more of a friend than the fake people I thought were friends. And that's why I rely on our pets over people. And I know that sounds kind of harsh, but you know, if, if you've gone through the years of freaking trauma and torment and abuse and pain that I've been through, you'd understand where I'm coming from because I don't want fake people in my life. I want genuine, real people, people that actually treat you right. You know, I want that in life. I don't want bad stuff. I just want positive vibes, you know. But yeah. <laughs> just to put it on a good note, though. Like I said, I still think you should definitely consider the cat toy box idea. You don't have to get the exact toys that I got. I'd recommend uh, researching and paying attention to what your cat likes. Because no, no two cats are going to be the same. So, uh, you know... And you don't necessarily have to get the exact same stickers. Totally up to you what you want to do. But if you want to really show your cat how much you love them, making a cat toy box for them might be the best alternative. It's like a little extra side project that you can do that I think is really wholesome and heartwarming. And I feel like your cat would be very much appreciative of it as well. Maisie really loves that. She loves all her toys, and it makes me happy. So I'm glad she loves what I went out of my way to put together for her. She's actually interested in, in the cat game Stray as well. So, yeah. Also, before I end this video, on an unrelated note, I actually managed to finish watching uh, the entirety of all four seasons of Stranger Things, finally. And so, uh, I ended up ordering four, four cool t-shirts off of Amazon that has something to do with the series. And I think two of the four of them are going to arrive sometime tomorrow. So, once they come in, I will show them off as time progresses. Because I think the, the last two of the four are going to be shipped a little bit later. But at least two of them are going to arrive sometime tomorrow. So I'll definitely, definitely show those off. But, yeah, I just wanted to make this quick video too. Because it's like, 
you know, I'm just thankful. I almost cried in happy tears, you know, when my sister walked out of the house after she told me this information. Because, like, again, this is like a serious commitment. This isn't just something that you slack on, if you know what I mean. This is something you have to take very seriously. And it just excites me of what the future is going to hold. And now that I've got such a loving companion to be by my side throughout this whole entire lifespan like it's almost like a dream i feel like i'm in a dream or alternate universe but like i'm so thankful that people believe in me to be able to do that and i'm honored that she trusts me enough to do that so yeah i am very thankful so when Thanksgiving rolls around, that's going to be what I'm thankful for. 100%. And I'm not going to let them down. I promise you that I am not. I promise. So all you cat lovers out there, just know that we stay united and that we're all in this together. And our cats deserve the best. And we are friends. And not, you know, and they're not just animals and that, you know, we should just be epic together, I guess. Because it's like, because I used to fantasize, I'll, I'll be real with you for a second. I used to fantasize these cool ideas of like Maisie and I going on our own adventures. And I almost wanted to draw like comic book images of just the two of us doing these epic things together. And that was before the cat game Stray was ever officially released because I had seen trailers about it before it actually became an officialized thing back when they first were working on it but like the game straight literally portrays the exact idea I had in mind for like what I wanted Maisie and I to do essentially that was the kind of adventure I was thinking of that type of shenanigans so it actually fills in that part of my dream of wanting to, you know, go and travel across the world with this cat. Because I always wanted to do something like that. that that's always been my life dream. That and going to the beach. And trying to build like a sandcastle like you see in like Mario Sunshine. But, yeah. <laughs> I'm just really happy, I guess. I should really try to make that dinner food real quick and then get some sleep kind of important I should probably start doing that now so uh, yeah just again have a great day or night or whatever based on your time zone and uh, I'll start making some of the other future videos like I said I'll show off the Stranger Things shirts as they start coming in so that you guys can see how cool they are because I can't wait but yeah, uh, I might update you guys to let you know like what happens when I go into work tomorrow. I'm kind of too anxious to show my face in the building because I don't know if like the negative experience that happened is going to carry over into uh, Tuesday or not. I really hope not. I'm kind of anxious about showing my face now. But, I, I don't know, I, like, I guess I can let you know what happens, because I did tell my boss about what she did, uh, and stuff, because she asked me, you know, hey, what'd she do? And so I told her, and she simply said she would talk to this person and, you know, tell her, and kind of discuss to her about, like, her attitude and, like, I guess how to make it better or something I don't know I'm just kind of worried because I'm afraid that Daisy's gonna like either lie about stuff or just like some other thing because it's like a really complicated situation so I, I, I don't know it really depends on how things go so like I might let you guys know because hopefully it's not going to get me fired or anything. Because I'm not, like, doing anything wrong. I'm, like, legit doing my job. And then getting harassed on a daily basis by this specific person. And I honestly am sick and tired of that. 
that shouldn't keep happening. So I'll update you guys on like what goes down, I guess. I suppose. <laughs> but keep in mind, I'm trying to make this a wholesome channel, not something that's controversial, not something that is political or has anything to do with race per se. So I'm trying to keep this as, as friendly as possible. Hopefully I get a haircut soon too because my hair is getting so long now it's tickling my nose and covering my eyes so I can barely see anything. <laughs> as a side note. Uh, here's Maisie. Maisie, are you going to say something? Yep. Alright, well that's Maisie saying we're signing off now. So, yeah, see you later guys. Just look at this beautiful baby. Look at her. Yeah. This is one pretty kitty. I love her a lot. She's beautiful.